Creator, this video is going to be a little bit different. As you can see, I don't even have my good, look, I'm going handheld for this because this is one of those videos where we just need to sit back and have a conversation. Now, very important. I'm going to ask that you sit here and go through the whole video because I know a lot of people need to hear this, especially because I did. So do me a favor this time around and stick around until the end. I always say, make that video even when you're unsure who's going to watch it, who's going to listen to it. Because sometimes you never know who you're going to catch at that exact right moment, ready to catch that exact right phrase, sound, vibration, energy, whatever you want to call it. And it sparks something. Okay. This is one of those days. Okay. Let me give you a quick backstory. I swear I'll keep it short. I was in my house. I'm cleaning, just doing things. And I had the TV playing a YouTube video talking about a Manchester United game, as I do, and autoplay kicked in. And for whatever reason, unbeknownst to me, the algorithm played a video created today by one Peter McKinnon. I know it was Peter. A, recognized the voice. B, the video started up with, what's up, everybody? This one's sponsored by Squarespace, <laughs> like as, as his videos tend to do. And I got to say, the reason why I say this is funny I don't normally watch Peter McKinnon videos. Not that I think he's a bad guy or anything. I've said many, many times, I just don't resonate with his content. Other people say the same things. I resonate with them more. Nothing against Peter. I think the man's brilliant. But today he said something and it hit me square in the middle of my big, gigantic ass size eight head. Peter made a video today called The Trap of Not Making Videos. And I understand this trap because I myself have fallen into this trap. But the basis of it is not making content makes it easier to not make content. And that's, that's the reality. That is absolutely true. The, the longer you go without making a video, the easier it is to continue not making video. So here's a quick, for instance, for myself. I made a podcast called Creator 50 because I have a lot to say about the subject of people over 50 created content. And I got busy doing stuff for work and I missed an episode and I go, don't worry, I'll get it next week. And then next week and then next week. And then my father passed away and that became like four weeks. And then my crew's like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to go back in. And then work happened again. And then here we are a long time ago, had to made that video. Same thing for this channel. I used to record a weekly recorded video and then I got busy with work and I'm doing lives and I love live. Live to me is my life because I love to give you the immediate answers to the questions you have whenever you want them. You want to check them out every Tuesday, Saturday, right here on this channel, 8 a.m. Hawaiian time never fails. That being said, I realized I need to make recorded content. So last month, I made this series of videos called Nice to Know, Nice to Have November. I decided to challenge myself to make 30 videos in a row. And the one thing I realized after making that is I absolutely miss making recorded content. One of the things that was super important about this recorded content session was I told myself I was going to make more ugly videos. I'm not going to over edit. I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to sit down and keep it gangster and record videos. And for the most part, I carried that out. I think I'm a little bit funny here and there. So I add my sauce when necessary. You might not think I'm funny. You're not funny. It's okay. I think I'm funny. <laughs> so I have my little humor, my little sauce here and there. But overwhelmingly, I got overwhelming response and feedback from my community that was like, keep it going. We love it. Keep it going. Keep it going. And so here we are today, way past, not way past, two days past that 30-day cycle. This is going to be video number 32. And I'm going to just keep riding this horse till the wheels fall off. Because what I found out is when I wasn't making content as a coach, I got good at creating ideas and plans for other people. I got good at creating ideas and plans for myself. I have a list of videos that I want to make. We'll be doing a live stream and somebody say, hey, you should make a video about X. And I'll go, yeah, I'll take a screenshot of the comment, put it in this folder and be like, yes, I'll make a video about it. I ain't made the video yet. Matter of fact, hold up, hold up. I got this bag sitting here in my house 
for like a week and a half of stuff that I said I was going to make a video about and I ain't made it yet. I have a whole bunch of stuff in here I want to make videos about I haven't made yet. Because I got good at the ideation, the planning, using all the tools, I got weak sauce at the follow through. I want you to hear me again. I got good at the ideas. I got good at the plans. I got saucy weak sauce with the follow through. And Peter brought that up in the video. And when he said that, it was like he would puss up right at the back of my head. I should say, big ups to you, Peter McKenna, because you realized something that I myself have realized. I've even had this conversation with Louise, Mary Lou, Paul, Katie, the people that are in my inner circle of sort of work. But it's so easy to not make content when you're not making content. It's so easy to get good at planning and the best laid plans. I mean, you know the joke, the best laid plans. So again, I reiterate, and I'm glad you made it this far. Thank you for staying, because I know some people need to hear this. You gotta make those videos even when you're unsure. Some of the videos that I make that aren't heavily planned out, overthought, and just done, those turn out to be the heaviest hitters. Those turn out to be the bangers, if you will. One last thing that Peter brought up in the video, and I highly agree with this, create the video when the idea sparks you. Because the more time you put between, I got this dope idea for a video, and you jot a couple of things down, and then you go, you start over-researching, you start over-planning, you start overthinking B-roll, you start trying to come up with all these ideas, you bump into roadblocks, that video doesn't get done. Or you start asking other people about the idea, they start throwing sauce, and next thing you know, you've lost the plot, as they say. And this is true. This is 100% true. And one last thing. Yesterday, I'm on Twit, and talking with JPT from The Verge, she was uh, co-hosting with me, and she said on that video that she resonates the most with the videos where somebody is doing what I'm doing right here, sitting down and just having conversation with a friend. You're my friend. We've had this thought last month. So sitting down and just having a standard conversation without all of the hyper edits, without all of the over scripted, without the, hi, I'm Velvet Jones. Today, I'm going to teach you how to buy my new course. Yeah, I mean, again, never, never diss anybody's bag. I love you for getting your bag. But sometimes, you have to just let it out. You got to be yourself. You got to be cathartic, therapeutic, or whatever you want to add to this. I just want to be whiskey neat right now with you and tell you, you will see more videos like this where I just espouse the thoughts as they come to me. Yes, I'll teach you how to use cool stuff on your Mac. Yes, I'll teach you all of the creator tech you need to know. Yes, I will teach you how to use the latest AI tools. Yes, I will teach you everything it takes to make you a better creator. But sometimes I'm just going to come and freestyle it because I'm an MC. That's <laughs> what I do. So I'm just going to come and tell you what's on my mind. So again, it's really crazy how the algorithm played a Peter McKenna video. I haven't watched one of these in like eight, nine months. But he came through today. So again, big ups to Peter. I'll put the link in the description so you can see the video to hear from his words directly. And I was absolutely inspired by this. But one last takeaway. This isn't a copycat of his video. It's he inspired me to say what I got to say and a lot of things resonate. Just because you see a video that somebody else already made about the topic you want to make a video about, you should make it anyway. Because you might resonate differently. A lot of times when the new camera stuff come out and, you know, he's doing a review, Maddie does a review, I kind of resonate with Maddie more because I think we think more alike, I guess. So that's what I'm saying. You never know who's watching. So create that content. Yeah. Yeah, create that content. Now, I'm on a mission to grow this channel to 20,000 by the end of the year. I'm going to go swinging. I'm going in there swinging. So if you know anybody that needs to hear this, share this video. If you're like basically the 92% of the people that watch this stuff that aren't subscribed, pop that subscribe button. 
I'm going to be here to help you. If you got any questions, comments, feedback, you want to throw in your story, please do that in the comment section below. I don't know who's going to see this. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I had to say it. I had to say it. Now I can sleep like a normal person. Right now, the algorithm is going to show you another video. Go ahead and give it a click. <laughs>